Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Silent Hill podcast. This is going to be a new series that I'm going to create here, and I'm just going to have it latch on to the rest that I have um, within my YouTube channel. So, along with talking about Godzilla, and along with talking about Ninja Turtles, and then of course the Cryptids and Monsters, and the Urban Legends series, and then occasionally some of the Godzilla recommends or Godzilla rant stuff I'm gonna add on this series and the reason for it is because as I had briefly alluded to in one of my past videos I'm just discovering really the world of Silent Hill just now now that being said I've actually seen both films the first Silent Hill movie that came out a couple of years back and then Silent Hill Revelations that came out just the other year or so and I loved those films absolutely loved them and then to some extent I have seen some of the comic books that Silent Hill has but the one aspect that has remained a little bit elusive for me has been the world of the video games which is pretty much the Bible of Silent Hill and the reason for this is because I actually don't have much let's say in terms of of gaming hardware like I don't have like a PlayStation 3 or 4 or any of like the previous Nintendo items or anything like that or portable items so everything involving Silent Hill and what it was produced and what format it was it kinda just remained on the side for me but instead what the way I'm discovering it is the world of YouTube because I love watching walkthroughs when it comes to somebody playing games on YouTube and my favorite are the ones where people just do the walkthrough themselves where they don't actually talk or joke around or do needlessly um, like crazy stuff while they're playing no instead if it's just a regular play play walkthrough it's almost like watching a movie itself and I love that and so I started fresh from scratch and right now at this very moment I'm almost finished with the first Silent Hill game there's a user out there who is very kind enough to place the whole game as just one video it's a little over four hours long and his just this user just playing the game again no commentary no jokes no uh, crazy stuff going on it's just a walkthrough itself and this is how I'm discovering Silent Hill great stuff I mean it is amazing I'm gonna do a video soon on the game itself like on the review for the game but I can definitely see how influential this game was the first game and then as I progress I'm gonna move to the second game and then the third game and then the fourth and then just continue from there and as I do so every single thing that I'll talk about or find to talk about I'll create videos of it here and the nice thing is I'm gonna try this out I'll see how far it gets but I'm gonna incorporate just like I do with my cryptids and monsters and my urban legends I'm gonna incorporate photos like actual images like the slideshows that I do with my other videos and the reason for this is because um, when it comes to showcasing the Silent Hill you kinda have to have images accompanying what you're talking about and it's only fair that so many others um, in the YouTube world who are uploading practically the whole game itself video music soundtrack uh, everything um, they're getting buy with it and YouTube is not doing anything to them and vice versa so if they can do it then I can probably get away with just posting images and so that way kinda like the slideshows that everyone seems to love um, and I definitely appreciate that I will do so as well with Silent Hill and the way I'm gonna do it is and the reason why this is so fascinating to me is because and in, in, involving the world of Silent Hill there's so many monsters that are there to talk about so many characters human characters to talk about for the most part though it's going to be about the monsters and it's just like talking about cryptids and monsters just like the series that I have so for example my first video that you'll see coming soon I'll talk about the gray child which is the first monster that one experiences in the first game ever in Silent Hill it's like the inaugural monster it's kinda like the equivalent of bloop and what started off my YouTube series on the cryptids and monster site same concept but in this case I'll poetically talk about the first monster ever encountered in Silent Hill and that way it'll get things started and then what I'll do is within each video I'll talk about 
the monsters themselves and how they relate to the game, what their characteristics are, what they look like, um, where they're usually found, when, and then I'll start analyzing what they symbolize because that's the beauty, the absolute beauty of Silent Hill is that it's not just a simple monster, but rather there's hidden meanings within practically everything tied to these creatures. They are always tied to something involving some fear or some guilt or some kind of tragedy or some kind of other complex item either from the main character or from other sub characters so there's always layers it's like peeling back an onion you're just continuously seeing another layer to analyze and that's the beauty of it and I'm hoping that's what um, is people will appreciate on this Silent Hill series because there's a lot of great work that the people behind the Silent Hill game is put. Again, they didn't just make it like a scary game with a bunch of pop-up things with loud noises, no. They made things everything 100% psychological and that's the way that Silent Hill has become such a huge mark in the gaming industry is because um, they really reach into your head. Um, great, great stuff. And so be on the lookout for that particular stuff. And then I'll probably talk about locations sometimes in the future. Uh, maybe I'll talk about um, some of the crazy endings that I've heard about that people have said, the meanings behind them. Uh, but yeah, be on the lookout for all of that stuff. And then also part of the reason that I'm doing this series on Silent Hill is because yeah, I mean, anything involving this rich world is just ongoing. I mean, even to this day, um, with regards to the PT, that playable teaser, and the Silent Hills game that's going to come out sometime in the future, that's all just going to continuously add. So there's like a whole rich world to talk about, and I'm hoping that everybody can share too. And then the last reason that I'm doing the Silent Hill podcast here is because I think that there's also a lack of people talking about and analyzing Silent Hill itself. There's a lot of stuff that talks about the game, but not much analyzation. There's not a lot of, of let's say, um, like, what is the meaning of this? Um, what is uh, the symbolism behind this? What can it interpret? Um, what are the various, in some cases, controversial things that are tied to these things, um, and, and, and there's definitely on the Silent Hill Wikia that kind of stuff, but at least in the video format and additional commentary, nothing really like that. It's just pretty much walkthroughs, and so again, it's a whole world to talk about and share with everyone here. And then that way, you fans that are my cryptids and monsters and my urban legend side, generally, and that's what I'm hoping for. If y'all are fans of that stuff then you all are going to be fans of this as well. So again, be on the lookout for all of this. I'll just be sharing this as it happens, as it comes along, and I'll probably try to do at least a couple of videos soon. And again, the first video, the inaugural one, will be again, poetically, the first monster ever in the Silent Hill world, and that is the Grey Child, so be on the lookout for that. Alright everybody, thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.